The final day of what will go down in history as one of the most testing editions of Rally Portugal on record. Another five stages to run with a total of 48.87 kilometres. Championship leader Kalirov and Pera, as first car into the fresh gravel on day one, had the odds massively stacked against him. The time lost with the lower grip levels are immense, but as others picked up punctures, Rov and Pera stayed out of trouble. Remarkably, he ended the first day second overall, and by the close of play on day two, he had passed Elvin Evans, which means coming into today's final five stages, he finds himself on course to make it three WRC victories in a row, a feat last achieved by Oit Tanak in 2018. And the day started well, winning the opening test 2.7 seconds clear of Evans, his rally lead now stood at 8.4 seconds. Let's continue like this, it was tricky stage, I pushed a bit but, uh, but yeah, all good. Danny Sordo was also on the move in the fight for third, closing the gap to Takamoto Katsuta to just 1.2. Katsuta was not happy with his effort. I was trying, but it's not really working well. But yeah, it was not so. I was a bit careful, maybe. I don't know. Uh, time seems to be not so good. It's been a reasonably quiet weekend for Oit Tanak, but he upped his game on the only run through the Montim stage, taking the win to pass Pierre Louis Loubet for seventh overall. Next came the first run through the iconic Fafe stage, and it was another win for Oit Tanak. But in the fight for the overall rally victory, Rov and Pera, hampered by some rain and fog, went 1.9 seconds slower than Evans, which meant the gap was now down to 6.6 seconds. I'm just trying to focus on uh, on doing the best we can. You know, it's uh, still uh, not so far away, but of course, uh, realistically, he needs to do something a bit wrong now. But uh, of course, we, we keep the pressure on. Rov and Pera, though, responded on stage 20 to go 2.4 quicker and bring his lead back up to nine seconds with just the power stage remaining. In the fight for third, it was a massive final effort from Danny Sordo to reel in Takamoto Katsuta and steal a podium spot at the final hour. An emotional Katsuta demoted to fourth overall ahead of Thierry Neuville in fifth. Big congrats for Danny. Yeah, and uh, I'm so sorry for the team. I tried, but uh, obviously not enough, so I'm just not good enough. Just I tried to improve more. Up at the front, though, Evans was giving it everything he had, but it was not enough to catch Rov and Pera. The Welshman settling for second overall, while the young Finn utterly dominated, taking the power stage win and the rally victory leaving Portugal with 30 championship points and confirming his third WRC victory in a row. More importantly than all of that, he extends his lead in the World Rally Championship to 46 points over Thierry Neuville. Starting first here and, and uh, to fight for the win like this, it was really nice. Um, big thanks again to, to Jonne, he did a good job. Uh, also the team. We saw a lot of issues and, and tough conditions this weekend and our car was perfect as always, so everybody can be really happy. It has been an incredible weekend's rallying here in Portugal and we do it all again in Sardinia in just two weeks' time. Who's been your driver of the weekend? Let us know below. We'll see you in Sardinia.